Ladies and gentlemen, it's appeasement time in America with President Biden leading the charge, selling out our ally, the state of Israel, the people of Israel, fighting against this terrorist Nazi organization that murdered, butchered 1,200 people on October 7th. Yeah, make Israel the scapegoat. You know, have leaks from the White House. Not Biden. Biden is not saying anything. Leaks from the White House calling the Prime Minister of Israel a hole. A bad guy. That's what's coming out of the White House and many, many other things. Not Biden. Of course not. It's from the White House, you know, from the walls at the White House. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, you talk about appeasement. There was... Chamberlain in 1938, he actually thought, he trusted Adolf Hitler. He thought Adolf Hitler was a good guy. He actually trusted him. But for Biden, it's not about trust. For Biden, it is simply about political expediency. For Biden, it is politically about Michigan. It's about Tlaib Omar, it's about Muslims in America. They're going to leave the Democratic Party. So what do you do? You put a knife into the back of the people of Israel. The people of Israel are united that Hamas must be destroyed. Netanyahu is the elected prime minister of Israel, whether you like him or not. Just like Biden, you are the president of the United States, whether people like you or not. And you're not very popular these days. You know that. You are betraying the people of Israel. For political expediency, that is unacceptable, unacceptable. And that is exactly whatever your reservations are about Donald Trump. Donald Trump gets it. He understands. And more than ever, we need him. We need him, not the appeasement of Joe Biden, who is so freaking confused, for God's sake, right now during the tragedy that happened in Israel, all he can think about is a two-state solution. A two-state solution, right? I mean, Mahmoud Abbas, the head of the Palestinian Authority, hasn't yet found the time. He's a very busy guy. He hasn't found the time to condemn October 7th. School children in Judea and Samaria, the West Bank, when they go to school, kindergarten, second grade, third grade, you are studying, you are learning in your textbooks to hate the Jewish people. What an insult to the people of Israel and to the memory of those who were butchered by Hamas. Now you talk about a two-state solution? It's all about politics. All about politics. Donald Trump, we need you.